I am beginning this project with a prepped, so that's sanded, um, stainless steel tumbler. This one's a 16 ounce travel mug from the Steel Magnolia. I sprayed it with two times Rust-Oleum um, blue gloss paint and because it was gloss I also put a very thin layer of CC DIY quick coat over the top because I was really worried about my epoxy repelling. I then mixed some diamond dust from It's Pretty Personal. It's a very, very fine glitter. It will blow all over the place. Um, so be careful, watch your eyeballs. Um, I mixed diamond dust in with epoxy and I coated the entire tumbler with that mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and apply alcohol ink to the entire tumbler, including the handle. So I wanted to make sure everything had epoxy on it. So I'm starting for the, from the bottom, starting with my reds and I'm using three, two different reds. I'm using a red and a peach red. And then in the middle, I'm gonna apply white. And then um, for the top, I have two different blues that I'm, or three different blues that I'm gonna apply. So I'm just dropping my alcohol ink just randomly um, wherever I feel like dropping. It's always an experiment when I'm using the alcohol inks. Um, and the tumblers always turn out different, so I just like to play around with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this video, and then I'll pause it again when I start applying the mica powders. Right here, I accidentally grabbed a blue that was more of a green, um, <laughs> so I quickly switched out. So this tumbler it has just a little, little touch of green to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start applying my mica powder. So I took um, the excess epoxy that I had left over, and I mixed small portions of mica powder in different shades of blues. So this one is called a haze. It's a very, very light blue, and the next blue I'm gonna use is called a blue pearl dry um, it's a darker blue so I'm just gonna mix those two blues and apply those to the top blue sections kind of blending it in through the middle where the white is to kind of get a ombre not really an ombre just blended so that when the the micas um, swirl in with the epoxy and the alcohol inks they kind of all blend together eventually And for the white, it's really simple. You just take a very small amount of mermaid trash and mix it in with the epoxy and just uh, place that right where you want it in the center, kind of blending down and blending up into the blues and the reds. And the last mica powder I'm gonna be applying is called Stiletto from PDB Creative Studio. Once you have all your alcohol inks applied, your micas and any glitter, if you choose to apply glitter, then you wanna uh, apply a little bit of heat. Not, Don't hold your heat gun too close to your cup because your epoxy will burn, but you wanna get those um, colors to start swirling and moving around each other. Click your tumbler one direction and then click it the other direction back and forth. I did make a beach tumbler with the same method when I was applying the glitters. So you can watch that beach tumbler to see how I click the tumbler back and forth. And then the last step is applying some more white, um, the mermaid trash, uh, mermaid trash lace white from the bottom in a swirl motion from bottom to top and then apply a little bit more heat and then let those colors move. Let this tumbler sit overnight, apply one more layer of epoxy sand if you need to, if there are any bumpy lumpies. And then this is your finished product. So look at the blues swirling with each other and how it blends into the reds. And all the colors are so unique, the way that they hit each other and turn in different directions. And um, so I hope you enjoy making these. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing and then click that notification bell so you can find out when I post my newest videos. Thanks so much for watching. At the very end, I'll link that beach tumbler that I was talking about and any other related videos. Thank you so much.